once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Sometimes, you just have to let go. And embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team. And I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military grade augments to terrorists. This is Iran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. But three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be sure. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. Your call. But Singh's undercover in all this. So watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Never was one to play the odds. Give me something I can use up close. You got it. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Actual. This is Knife Leader. 
Engage host drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Right, the intro is a little bit of fun, but I'm not going to lie. Team Leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. So yeah, as I say, I'm not going to lie. This is about the third time I've seen that intro. And... Um, um, yeah, I'm just a little bit fed up with the fact I've had to watch it that many times already. Uh, for some reason, the game's bugged out on me on my first playthrough, and I was not able to use some of the uh, abilities um, and weapons. So I'm not best impressed, but we're going to have another go. So this is now going to be a lethal playthrough. The original gameplay was going to be for a non-lethal playthrough. Uh, let's just push on through. Now we're going to search this body here. We're going to take that pocket secretary. Now we're going to read the pocket secretary because there's a code in here. Door code 4801. This is for a room later on which we'll be going into. It saves us having to hack the door. Uh, there's no enemies here, it's always all about the... Grab the cake, thank you. This is all about getting to know the game and its controls. Jensen, we're moving through... Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypads. Should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Yeah, that did make me laugh the first time, but I'll be honest. Again, it's something that's getting a little bit boring. Now we're gonna activate the uh, smart vision. So let us see that there is a weakness in this ball. We can punch a hole in. And then we can just uh, skip on through. Now there's a keypad there, but it's disabled, so we can't go that way. We can go this way. There's another pocket secretary. I've already had that one, so it's not going to tell me the story again. Now we nip through here. We're going to throw this switch. Pick up the consumables. Now we can't go back out the same way because we would get electrocuted. So we're going to have to go this way instead. So a little hacking game now comes up. This is us. This is where we start. That's where the uh, the oh, I don't know call it the tracking system starts, and this is where we want to get to. And I'm going to. Capture this node. Actually, I'm going to fortify this node. Capture this node. And then once that's 100%, we can capture this node. Trace program initiated. And now we can hack the final one. Access granted. Which opens the door. Now, if the red had caught up with us, then we would have had a problem because we would have had a. Um, it would basically set up like an alarm or something, or just prevent it from getting in. But that's fine, so we're going to do the tutorial for cover. I have done this before, but we're going to do it again now. 
So we jump in, we take cover. We're now following these little green figures. And basically the cover system essentially is just pointing at different places and pressing the green button. Uh, green button, the space bar even. Helpful if it went where I wanted it to. Thank you very much. This is by no means the correct way to actually do this when you come to do it in game. As a fact, I would probably not recommend doing it this way because there are two of them. Now we are going to get up in their grill and fuck their shit up. Let's just wait for him to move out. Now we're going to have to take down this guy. Good lad, don't make too much noise. Yep, we know about takedowns. We've got lethal and non-lethal. But it does cost energy though. Hmm. But that's fine, let's pull this guy out of the way. Um, let's pick up his pistol, which gives me some, uh, uh, or gives me a pistol. That's a 10mm pistol, not quite as good as my revolver. Uh, we're going to go this way. There's some stuff around here that we can take advantage of. We'll pop up the stairs and we're going to get into a little overhead bit. We will if we can climb up there. Search the case and get some more credits. So we're now above the two guys. I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to walk off the other direction, so we're going to come this way. We want to get this guy. So I should be able to do a takedown on him. Not quite the takedown I was expecting, but it will do. That's those guys dispatched. So is there anything else up here worth nabbing whilst I'm walking through? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's pick up your gun and let's loot you. Now we should have the code for this door, which we do, which is 4801. That's from the little uh, pad we picked up earlier. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. Now, some of these are locked, and we can actually break the locks, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see, is there anything else in any of these ones? This one is locked, we can break this one as well. Alright, that's it, that's all those looted out. Now, let's just pop our uh, skill again. And through we go. Now our Icarus landing is going to take effect here. This is a nice safe landing. And we get a tutorial for stealth mode, which we are going to activate. So we walk to here. Open the door, press F1 to silence the legs. Move to this point and hit F4. Now this makes us completely invisible. And then we can pick up an object, and we can throw it, which distracts them, and we can come on over here. So we can exit that. So we'll have another go at this. Let's go with F1 and F4, open the hatch and drop in. It's 
So fire extinguisher, catch that matey. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I could have probably done that a little bit better. There's a little hint there telling us that we should go up that way. Yeah, let's go this way. Last thing we need is the comes breaking down. Close that and we shall sneak our way around here. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's tilled a fucking cemetery down here. Uh, there's a combat tutorial. We're not interested in this, really. We're gonna skip yeah, this. When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Now, we should be able to, I think, get away with doing this. Let's just pop him here for a sec. Nobody's really paying attention, so we're going to take this guy out as well. Let's just move him out of the way, because there should be a guy in this room, I think. No, no, I think we're clear. Now, there's a couple of guys underneath us. We can see them on the radar up top. Jensen. Watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. So there's the two guys. There's a wall there. So let's go down. Battery is not too hot on the moment. Should never have come here. I have to keep an eye on these guys to see where they're going to go. Because he was just over here and he's walked round. And his mate is somewhere. Oh, there's his mate. If his mate faces away. <laughs> if his mate walks the other way, here we go. We should be able to come round behind. And take this one down. <laughs> make too much noise because I don't want to alert his friend. Now I'm hoping his friend is just going to rock up and stand here. If not, I've got a problem. <coughs> yeah! Wall clipping takedown! In your wall clipping face. That's a little bit silly really. He shouldn't have like clipped through there but I'm not going to I'm not going to argue. Now, there's a gas warning and a structural weakness. Let's break the wall. We've an implanted rebreather that will augment or sort of save us from the gas, which is pretty cool. And the reason I'm coming in here is because I already know that there were some goodies waiting for me at the end. Um, and then I'm going to head back out. And that's not good. That would be my battery running out on me. I was hoping it was going to last just that little bit long enough. So we're not going to be able to go that way. Unless I repower myself a bit, which I could do. So I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking I go upstairs. Can 
I lope up there? Nope. Okay, we'll just walk around. So, I uh, almost didn't see that guy. So all the others are down the bottom. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just hide here. I'm going to save the game. And we're going to carry on in the next episode because this next section is where the game glitched out on me the first playthrough uh, and i would rather have a save so i can come back and hopefully carry on playing so that's it for the moment i will see you in the next video bye bye for now <laughs>